Yes, sir. Okay, well, my name is Aloy Jmako. I'm the special counsel to Mazin Namdekan. Um, in addition to what my colleague, Marisa Ifaye Jofo, had said, I would briefly uh, give you a rundown of the international dimensions of this matter. You have heard of the phrase, the long phrase, extraordinary rendition. Uh, it's not um, a makeup by lawyers, it's real. It's something that is in the statute books that Nigeria signed on to. And uh, this was not the first time it has happened. It has happened before. Nigeria had attempted in the past to conduct extraordinary rendition of Omar Rodigo in 1984. The difference between that one and this one is that that of why that of Kano succeeded, that of Omar Rodigo fared woefully. And it led to countervailing consequences. So extraordinary rendition doesn't draw only legal consequences. It draws political and diplomatic con consequences. So in that of uh, Omar Rodigo, it drew, it drew all kinds of consequences. Okay, 17 people were arrested. Four out of those were convicted and sentenced to various terms of imprisonment, ranging from six years to eight years. The other 13 were deported. The CEO of Nigerian Airways was nearly arrested in the UK. He was lucky to have seen a very short fence that he jumped. Okay, and uh, Nigeria uh, was denied a subsequent request to extradite Diko and other people uh, in, in Nigeria was interested in at the time. So, you know, and then Britain broke off diplomatic relations with Nigeria for two years. So I don't know why anybody thinks that the extraordinary rendition of Kano would not have, have consequences. Of course it will have. It's an unfolding phenomenon. Unfolding. The, 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 the political, the diplomatic, and the legal consequences are unfolding. And just as my colleague informed you, the international legal order has been triggered by a process I filed and perfected four days ago. So there is a triggering of the international legal order. Jurisdiction of Nigeria over this matter is no longer exclusive. You have multi judicial uh, people coming in, I mean, uh, uh, centers coming into play here. So it's not something that uh, there is a, a wiggle room uh, for the country. And we have to cross that bridge before we get to the bridge of saying beauty or not beauty. You have to cross the bridge of this very horrendous conduct that Nigeria did towards Namikan. Hello, sir, sir, Hello, sir about the access of Namikan in court today. Well, it surprised us. Nobody told us anything. We came here expecting to see him and everything. And the crowd that thronged here also expected to see him. So this is one of the, those draconian things that people are fighting against. You see, we don't want a nation that is turning to a, uh, a police state. And this is what is roiling the citizens of Nigeria. And if that protest, that dissent, is showing itself in various forms. It's showing itself in revolution now. It's showing itself in the, 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 the agitation to have a separate state. It's showing itself in resource control. It's showing itself in answers. If you are not doing these things, you are not going to be having these negative reactions from your citizens. If you do the right thing, your citizens will be happy and they won't have any reason to dissent. Okay? So that's what, what's going on. And today, they prove themselves capable of continuing those things by arresting innocent people that came to express solidarity with the Nam We were told by some people that Nam Dekan was actually brought to this court premises, but he wasn't presented. We didn't see him. We didn't see him. So if they brought him, they split him away. And what are they hiding? Because he can't take a trial issue in court today was that it was a bit of an irregular side and it was a discretionary matter left to the DSS to decide when his lawyers could say it. But right now it's no longer discretionary. The court order has ensued that we entitled to see him twice a week. So we what time is it? Well, some in the afternoons and all that. Okay, all right. Are you okay, happy? Okay, wait, my yes, we are, we are happy, very happy. Okay, wait, thank, my you very thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Can you hear me? 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 Can you hear me?
as you can see, we just finished speaking with the lawyers of Muslim Khan. I am going over to. They drew me back here. Uh, the fire was still on. I tried to get into the place. They took me back again. I seized all my devices, but they've now returned them to me. I'm a free man, at least for now. And I'm going back uh, also off the case. You can imagine this, this continues. Secret. Secret. Thank you, sir. Let's see what is happening here.
This is the street of Biafra. We, Biafra is going. Biafra is going. Biafra is going. Thanks all for watching. Please share the video.